hello everyone it's me jamie and welcome to another video i am so excited for today's video to be honest this is the first episode in a new series that i'm starting on my channel which i'm just i'm so excited about this idea is definitely not original like i'm sure so many people have done this before and if i can find links to videos and stuff like that i'll link it down below but i'm definitely inspired from some of the videos that i've been seeing on tiktok recently where people are like making tiktoks trying to get through their physical tbr and like picking books at random from their tbr shelves and getting through them and making little like mini vlogs i love that but because my wheelhouse is definitely youtube i've decided to do the youtube version of that and hopefully have one of these videos out every month but basically i am going to be yeah trying to get through my physical tbr so i have my tbr bookshelf in the other room i have counted how many books are on there at this moment and there is 160 so a couple of days ago i used a random number generator to choose a book at random from that bookshelf and in this vlog i'm going to be basically just reading the whole thing no spoilers anything like that very similar to vlogs people have done where it's just like reading a random book off their bookshelf that sort of vibe i'm just hoping to make this a monthly series because i really want to focus on getting through my physical tbr this month the fact that i have a full bookshelf full of tbr books like no it's too much so yeah basically because i did film a clip a couple of days ago selecting the book i will insert that in here and i'll see you soon hello everyone you have already seen the intro for this video so you know what's happening we're going to be choosing the book that i'm going to be reading for this video i'm so excited i'm so nervous there's a few books on here that i'm so excited for well most of them i'm so excited for so i'm really not that bothered about like what i'm gonna get but there's a few that i wouldn't want to get like i wouldn't want to get a little life for instance i'm excited though so i'm gonna show you we're gonna get up this random number generator and I'm gonna show you, we're gonna put in the number 160 and I'm gonna show you what number comes up. Okay, as you see, we're gonna generate it. 61. Okay, number 61. Let's count. 58, 59, 60. <gasps> 61! Oh my goodness. This is one of my highest priorities, so I am so excited to read this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Seven Days in June. I've been wanting to read this for so long. This is a romance novel. It is second chance romance. Our female main character is a single mother and she has like a history with the male main character and it didn't work out. I think it was like 15 years ago. They're both writers, I think. They live in New York. I'm so excited to read this. Oh my god, okay. So far so good. For episode one, we're starting off very strong, I think. I have a feeling this is going to be like at least four or five stars. Okay, so as you guys saw, the book that was randomly selected was Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. I'm going to get started on this right away and I'm going to vlog my experience, spoiler free. I can't wait. I'm literally not going to stop for anything. I'm going to start reading this right away and let you know all my thoughts. I'm going to get cozy right now. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've literally only just read the prologue, but already very promising vibes from this one. The writing style immediately, I'm like, hilarious funny very charming like the prologue is literally just two pages and like it's about our main character called eva i believe yeah eva nearly choking on a piece of gum while she was masturbating and then worrying that her daughter was gonna like find her dead body because she was masturbating and nearly died how do you come up with that stuff how do you come up with it and then it's like oh it's just so promising like the last line the last line in this like prologue i'm like i'm so ready for the next bit so already i'm feeling really good about this clearly everyone it is the evening now and i'm about to start a stream but i wanted to share where i got up to in seven days in june so i didn't actually read that much because i still had a lot to do today but i did get up to page 37 <laughs> that's actually way less than i thought i got up to page 37 and like i said before i'm just loving the vibes i'm loving the sense of humor i find it really interesting because it seems to be dual timeline we just had a chapter from 2004 
four. And I believe that is like Eva's childhood. And it sounds like she has a very harrowing childhood. Like she, her mother had like a very big string of boyfriends who weren't exactly very nice to her mother or to Eva. I believe like Eva's really learned to like not trust men. It's just gonna be really interesting seeing what happens when she bumps into the man from her past which we haven't had yet and i believe we're going to get things from his perspective as well because the next chapter seems to be about shane but i also really wanted to talk about this book because what i love so much about it so far is the fact that eva has a chronic illness so she deals with mi chronic migraines and i actually have a very close friend of mine who also deals with chronic migraines and talks about like how harrowing it is to like live with that and live with the anxiety of like knowing that a migraine might be coming on and i feel like tia williams has described like having a chronic illness and the attitudes that people have towards a chronic illness so well so I feel like this is going to be a very intense read in that respect. Eva is also a writer of this like really smutty like romance vampire series and some of the things that she says about it are just so hilarious but yeah I just feel like this is going to be a really intense read with like a side of romance. It's definitely not going to be fluffy I don't think like while the sense of humor is very hilarious and like in that sense it's an easy read I feel like the actual like romance and the character journey that our main character Eva goes on is going to be very intense and I kind of like that like I like an intense story with like a touch of humor so I'm very interested to see where the story goes I'm just excited you know I'm just really excited I'm gonna keep reading I was gonna do a stream but now that I'm sitting here I'm like I kind of want to just keep reading the book yeah I'm gonna keep reading I'm gonna keep ah fuck it I'm gonna keep reading who cares about work I mean technically both the work but this right now feels more important to me I've decided to have a bath while I read. I'm gonna choose what bath bomb. You can't really see, but there's five in here. I've read Shane's chapter since making this decision and already I love him. He's like an ex-alcoholic and now he's like, he's also a very good novelist, but instead of writing, he like teaches like underprivileged kids. King, literal king. But then he also referenced that he did something really bad to Eva and he's going back to New York to like make it up to her. And I'm like, Please don't tell me that what he did was really bad because I really like him and I don't want to like not like him. I don't know what it is. I've already forgiven him though. Anyway, what bath bomb should I choose? These are the options. I think I'm leaning towards this one or that one. If you know, you know. Okay, I'm out of the bath and it's like nearly midnight. So I'm probably going to pause reading now and like go to sleep. Obviously, I've read more of Seven Days in June, which is why I'm here. And I'm up to page 125, and I cannot wait to continue it in the morning because it is genuinely so good. Like, these two characters, the romance in here, they are soulmates. They are soulmates to the point where I've even created, like, a tabbing category just to call them soulmates because they are. I have said this so many times but i am personally a second chance romance trope apologist i really love it it's just so good and this is just no exception also just i definitely said this before so please this is an apology for me repeating my words but the fact that there is so much humor but the characters have both got such dark pasts like there's also so much commentary on racism in like the literature and the book industry it also discusses so many double standards between men and women like, it's definitely got very like social political undertones underneath like a really beautiful love story which i just love personally like i think it's really great but yeah also the humor that is running through it it's like everything that i wanted because sometimes i can't decide do i want a fluffy romance do i want an intense romance like why can't i have both this is both i just love it their epic love story is so good and some of the quotes in here oh my god like there was this one scene where both eva and shane are at the same kind of like book panel event and it's the first time they've seen each other in literal years they have this really awkward kind of encounter where they're like oh like let's get coffee i guess like blah 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 and then eva literal girl boss goes just one more thing stop writing about me and then he just like smirks and it's like you first they have been writing books about each other for the past several years and no one knows that it's about them two but them two know that it's about each other and they're like communicating to each other through the books that they are writing because they're both writers 
keep in mind with this bit that there is no semblance of forgiveness yet like they are absolutely not together they are not in a relationship we still haven't even figured out or learnt what happened between them for them to like not be together or anything in their adulthood shane literally says to her you burst into my solitude demanding to be seen you were overwhelming just wild and weird and brilliant and i never had a choice i liked everything about you even the scary parts i wanted to drown in your fucking bath water not sure about that last line but who says that to another human being like ben why aren't you saying that stuff to me anyway i cannot wait to keep reading also the bits that are like in the previous timeline in like 2004 they aren't as common or they don't occur as much as like i expected when i first saw the like 2004 chapter we've only had two in the first 125 pages everything else has been present day but you know what i'm really excited to get more 2004 chapters just because I just realized the next chapter is a 2004 chapter. But just because in those chapters, we learn about how Shane and Eva like met and what their relationship was like. And in the words of Britney Spears, it gave me more. I just really am excited to learn how their relationship developed and then what happened. I really hope that Shane didn't fuck it up too much for me to not forgive him, but I've already forgiven him. So who cares? Cause I love him. He's a king. Writing style also good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think about like the technicalities of the book that I should talk about. Writing style also good. Character development, I feel like is going to be very, very strong and I cannot wait to read it in the morning. So obviously I will see you tomorrow morning and I will update you. But oh my God, I'm so glad that the random number generator did me so well for the first episode of this new series. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all. you guys saw i have read a bit more of seven days in june this morning i'm now on page 170 and how many pages is this book i think it's like it's like 330 pages i've got like 160 pages left like I, i'm halfway essentially i'm just over halfway oh my goodness it's just so good like the writing is so good i'm kind of in shock about how good the writing is and like this has just made me realize that i need to read so much more of this author i don't know how many other books that she has out but like this could be five stars potentially just the character's chemistry like i truly believe they're soulmates i've said that before like sorry for repeating myself they're soulmates and then the whole thing with like eva's daughter audrey and like their relationship is so good so even when i'm kind of like hearing parts kind of from audrey's perspective and like her life hearing about her life i'm not like oh god take me back to the couple i'm like no this is i'm invested i'm invested in all of it i think the time jumps are really good they don't take me out of the story i like hearing about both different time periods equally as much as each other like it's just fantastic i just care so much about these characters and i just really want them to be happy especially when they've had like such an awful time growing up i am gonna keep reading i think i'm gonna try and finish this today because all i really have to do today is do some chores and do some editing like do some work i don't really have much else on so i'm definitely gonna try and spend all my time focusing on this before i go see some friends tonight and i think i can do it and i'm gonna make ben like force me to read are you up to that challenge of course anyways i am going to go uh have a shower and do some work but we're diving straight into this afterwards so i'll see you soon hello everyone okay so obviously it's the next day i did read quite a bit of seven days in june yesterday but something ended up coming up so i couldn't finish it and then i had like a games night with my friends in the evening so i have not finished it yet obviously however i'm on page 256 so i am so close to the end and i'm worried guys i'm really worried because our main characters are kind of like in bliss right now like eva and shane are living it up like they're having a good time and there's still like 60 70 pages left 
I'm very worried. What's going to happen in those 60 to 70 pages, I don't know. I cannot be sure. But I'm just loving the book so much. I am doing a stream tonight. I'm probably going live in like a couple of hours. Before that though, before I do anything, before I do my makeup, anything, I am going to be sitting down and finishing this book. Next time you see me will be probably the last clip of this vlog and I will be looking so much more beautiful than I am now and I'm just ready. I'm ready to get this done but like not in a like shit way, in a like a I need to know what happens next and I need to give it my final rating. Honestly right now it's sitting at a five star. Like even still the sense of humor in this but then also like how dark our characters lives have been it's just everything that i want it's everything that i want out of a reading experience i'm gonna go finish this i'm gonna go finish this right now like let's not waste any more time i'm gonna finish it and i will see you very soon i love you i wasn't expecting to cry in the last 60 pages what the hell what the hell it's actually really sad i'll talk about it i'll talk about it when i like finish the book that just really took me off guard my god took me off guard caught me off guard i can't even bloody speak i can't even speak just wanted you all to know i'm reading the epilogue now and in the space of like the five or so pages since i last updated i laughed out loud and then i also started crying again the duality the duality what is actually going on Okay, so I finished the book. I know I said that I was gonna like do my makeup and look really pretty for the final clip, but I actually can't be asked right now. Like, there's no point. There's no point. This book has all the beauty that I need. Literally the last page, I like started crying again just because of how beautiful it was. <laughs> like, this is, yeah, definitely become one of my favorite romance novels. It was just so good. And the fact that like, characters did have such a tragic backstory and there were really sad things that happened in the novel the bits of humor that were in it kind of didn't make reading the book feel really bleak like there were moments where i was feeling so good and like having some giggles and yeah obviously moments where my heart was aching it was just amazing and the the passionate love that our two characters had for each other oh my goodness i cannot wait to read more of tia williams it was just so beautiful i'm definitely going to be thinking about this novel for a while to come i think like all of my thoughts aren't processed right now like i feel like i can't sit here and give like a really really good well thought out review of it right now because my brain is still kind of processing like the masterpiece that i just read what an amazing start to my new series i think that sounds like i'm hyping myself up i'm not hyping myself up i mean like i'm just so glad that the first video in this new series is like a really good book like i'm really really happy that we started off on like a really good note if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for spending the approximately past 20 minutes with me i really appreciate that i cannot wait to read more books my physical tbr get through all of it ben just told me earlier that i wasn't allowed to buy any more books until i had finished every single book on my physical tbr so obviously we're going to be getting through more of these and there's going to be more videos like this so yeah i really hope that you are looking forward to that obviously this is a five star read yeah so again thank you so much for watching a reminder that all my socials are linked down below along with my patreon every month on my patreon we vote on like exclusive videos because i do three exclusive videos a month and i was thinking maybe with the success of this maybe making like one of the exclusive videos for the upcoming months like an extra one of these videos like reading from my tbr i don't know it could be fun anyway if you're interested in joining my patreon all the information is on the page which is linked down below i do have so many more videos coming out soon that i'm really excited about so please subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to see those i feel so bad i've never asked you to subscribe before that's so weird Anyway, I should just end the video. Why am I still talking? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.